Hi friends, this is Shodav Choudhury. Today we will be talking about prehistoric animals and their types. The purpose of the video is that our viewers learn something from the video and they also develop a sense of fascination about prehistoric animals. It may also benefit those viewers who want to study about prehistoric animals in future. So what are prehistoric animals? Prehistoric animals are the animals which came to earth much before man came into existence. Though among prehistoric animals, dinosaurs are most famous. However, the term prehistoric animals include not just dinosaurs, but a variety of other birds, insects, animals, crocodiles, reptiles, etc. In modern times, all organisms can be broadly divided into three categories. These are herbivores. Herbivores are the organisms that depend on plant and plant parts for their food. Carnivorous organisms depend on animals and animal parts for their food. There is also a third category of organisms known as omnivores. These depend on both plant as well as plant parts for their food. Similarly, in prehistoric times also there were three categories of organisms. The organisms which depended on plants and plant parts for their food were known as herbivorous organisms. Carnivorous organisms depended on these herbivorous organisms for their food. Omnivorous organisms could eat both plant as well as animal parts. However, some areas of similarity between prehistoric organisms and modern organisms were their size, shape, claws, teeth, etc. There were also some organisms which did not have any similarity with modern day animal. Humans are actually very lucky that most prehistoric animals were extinct much before man came into earth. This is because even the herbivorous animals of this era were so powerful that they could easily kill a human which came in their way. However, ever since human beings have come to earth, they have made many different types of discoveries and inventions. Some inventions are light, fan, wa washing machines, etc. Examples of discoveries include discovery of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro civilization, discovery of earth, moon, planets, etc. One such example of discovery is discovery of skeletons of various prehistoric animals. After discovery of different skeletons and fossils of prehistoric animals, humans studied them by using various scientific techniques. Fossils and skeletons have been discovered by human beings ever since the time they came to earth. However, the nature of the fossils and their connection with prehistoric animals, birds, insects as well as human beings became better understood only in the 17th and 18th century. While describing different prehistoric animals, we may often use the word paleontology. So it is important that our viewers understand the meaning of paleontology. So what is paleontology? Paleontology refers to the study of ancient living organisms through fossils. Paleontology started to become more organized during the first half of the 19th century with increase in number of museums, increase in number of professional paleontologists and also increase in number of fossil experts. This resulted in a rapid increase of knowledge of various prehistoric organisms. As a result of this, people came to know more about prehistoric animals than what they knew previously. As a result of this knowledge, some theories changed, some theories which were wrong were corrected. Illustrations have been found containing a giant shark head and its teeth along with a fossil tooth for comparison. Robert Hooke was prepared to accept that some of the fossils represented species 
which were already extinct. Such fossils and skeletons of prehistoric animals have been found all over the world. The skeletons tell us not just about the animal in question but also about surrounding animals and also vegetation. For example, by seeing a teeth embedded in skeleton of a herbivore, a paleontologist can guess the name of the carnivore. On many occasions, carcass of dead animals have been found embedded in ice. By studying these, paleontologists can get an idea of their diet, vegetation, etc. Even from the bones of dead animals, paleontologists can learn a variety of things. From size and teeth of bones, paleontologists get an idea of the size and shape of the organism. For some samples, DNA stomach contents of the organism can be found out. These help us to understand about the organism. They also help us to understand about the environment where they live, the threats that they faced. After the structure of the organism is made, the bones are joined and artificial skin is applied. Thus, a prehistoric animal which was extinct millions of years ago can be made. However, in our videos, we will discuss mainly about prehistoric organisms and their types. We may also discuss about the different threats faced by prehistoric organisms. Hope all of you will like our video. So until next time, it's goodbye from our team. Don't forget to like and subscribe our video.